Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our latest episode of the Impact Series. Um, today, I'm delighted to be joined with Andreas Renner, who is the co-founder, one of the co-founders at Good, the search engine for a better world. So, um, Andreas, thanks for joining me today. Nice meeting you, Michael. Great to be here today. Um, well, I think, well, let's kick it off, Andreas. Um, so people that are not familiar with, with Good uh, and, and the search engine for a better world, can you, you know, start by introducing the business, the business model, what your mission is? Great, yeah. We are a social enterprise, a B Corp certified like yours. Um, and we started uh, to set up a search engine like Google, but yeah. uh, it's a non-profit uh, venture. So we provide an alternative for everyone who's seeking uh, to, to use the daily searches you make to, to contribute to a better world. So good as a search engine, it's a, a tool which... Uh, Every one of us uses uh, on average three times a day, 60 times a month. Okay. And uh, there are many advantages uh, that uh, some people do not know. It's uh, it's an amazing communication tool because of the many touch points. And it's a fundraising tool because you create revenues uh, alongside the searches. You don't even notice. Google is making half a billion dollars a day simply wow. by the ads on search engine. And our aim as a social enterprise is to allocate a small fraction of this market to social courses. Okay. And, uh, so I'm actually from the social entrepreneurship sector. So my personal aim is to support as many change makers, people who found a new business to, to tackle the social or environmental challenges. And so we support one innovative student every month. We provide all the attention to this project, uh, make communication about it as use the funds we raise through the search to support the project and communicate about it. This way, we want to inspire as many people about uh, there's positive change possible. There are people who, who drive social change. We have uh, good, often unusual ideas to make the world a better place. And uh, so to use good, it should be inspiring and, uh, and a good quality at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. So, 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 so how does it work? So in terms of the business model then, um, so people, in, in, rather than using Google or Bing, for example, there, there are plenty of other search engines out there. <laughs> but, uh, so rather than using Google, they'll come to good, so good, dot, good search um, and, and, and yeah, search for, the, for whatever they need there. So how does that, so you would then, yeah, th there's money obviously you, you, in revenue, so how does that work? And then what do you spend it on? So what are some of the examples of the projects you're supporting? Exactly. So the business model basically is the same as Google. So once you enter a search um, request, uh, you get one or two ads. And uh, on average, um, depends on the market, uh, some 15 to 20 cents you generate if you click on an ad. As only a few clicks are on ads, on average, every click you make is like half a cent. So it's really a small amount with every single click. But over the many people who use the search engine, the many times you use it, uh, it generates a huge amount over time. Yeah. And we are very lucky that we're in a situation as as of now that we can allocate hundred percent of all the search revenues uh, to good courses. Wow. Because of our foundation structure, and uh, we as a team have a. Another project alongside to, to kind of subsidize our hard project, uh, which is uh, the good search. And as we come from the impact space, so we are networked to all those organizations who identify change makers, social entrepreneurs. And uh, that's why we have a huge network to pick uh, amazing projects. And uh, I just uh, would love to, to sketch a few. But yeah. this month, we are supporting uh, the Chime Foundation humanitarian clothing and uh, it's an uh, it's a great example because here you have an organization in india which helps uh, traumatized women who were freed from forced prostitution so really, really tough 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 situations yeah reintegrate into society they run a textile business as a social business to to help them reintegrate to 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 learn things to to have all those kind of psychological mentoring alongside and there's a German company, Aid. It's written E Y D. Um, empower your dressmaker. That's that's also their claim. And they sell the products. 
So you have a connection between the whole chain between um, ending the 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 the, the, the um, how do you say the, the kind of the slavery of the women? Yeah, and, uh, engaging all normal citizens like us uh, by making different purchasing situation, purchasing a decision. And that's so nice about the search engine because we can provide visibility for the theme. We can put the agenda on, on the topic, which is important, but we can also engage everyone who is using the search engine to say, look, uh, by the way, if you like, check out this shop. Uh, it's a nonprofit enterprise. Uh, if you buy um, clothes from, from eight, then uh, we support these traumatized women. Yeah. Um, well, last month we were supporting a uh, hero rats. It's another amazing story. It's a, a Belgium guy who had a rat as a, as a hobby, as a pet when he was young. Okay. We figured out that uh, they are enormously intelligent. They can smell sniffle like, very, very well. So he started to train them to detect landmines. Well, and now okay. they're working in many, many countries across the world to help identify, detect landmines, and then to, to roof them. And so they're taking one of the most challenging topics in the world. And uh, just by, by training the, these, these uh, cute little animals. And now the next step is to train them to find uh, um, like, like uh, for, for victims from earthquakes and other, other topics. So you can train these animals for many, many new topics. Amazing. So I mean, and so, and so these, so these projects that you can look at these on your website. So there's a link that sort yeah for the supported projects on on the Good Search uh, homepage. Um, so you can see yeah that so you know, here are rats. Your December project supported with two thousand euros uh, towards that towards that social enterprise, which is fantastic. Exactly. So we focus on one project per month. Yeah, we feature on the website uh, goodmindsearch.org, and um, yeah, now it's really the idea about having an inspiring project, one project every month to to, yeah. to raise the bar for them. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I mean, so what we I mean, we'll include the link to the uh, to the site on in the comments and on the video as well, so people can check it out after. But um, I mean, look, I, I've yeah, since our initial call last week, I've I've started to use it as well uh, for some of my searches. And what I like about it is, it's, you know, you can see um, you know, you've got your impact score, so you kind of give people a score so that, that people can see, you know, you know, just by every search, your kind of impacts. You know, clicking up, it's kind of gamified it a little bit as well, which I like. I think that's a nice touch. Yeah, it really shows that as a community, we can uh, really make a change happen. So even though we're still young, we just had a rebranding and then a new technology base uh, in December. Uh, we already have like 1 million clicks per, per month, uh, just from the 15,000 users we have at the moment. They're yeah. really about, uh, we got all the technology in place uh, last year. And now it's about uh, raising awareness for and, and, and creating partnerships. And even with this uh, kind of end, like, like a young startup, we do have a reach and then millions of clicks uh, every month. So it's uh, it's great to share this, this uh, impact through the impact uh, yeah. tracker. And so you said you've got fifteen thousand regular users at the moment. What what's the ambition? What's the how many yeah how many users are you aiming to get to? Oh, we want to have millions, obviously. Um, but that's a very uh, we have a benchmark. Uh, many people know Ecosia. It's a yeah. it's a um, search engine which plants trees. We think we can have even more impact by supporting social entrepreneurs. But they are it's a very good company too, and they raise about they have a turnover of about 3 million euros per month. Wow. And to be honest, even if we just have one tenth of Ecosia, we will be the largest supporter of social entrepreneurs worldwide. Because uh, this very specific segment, we have young founders who have a new idea, who get it in the market, who have an unusual idea, thinking out of the box, uh, there's not much funding. And uh, that's exactly where we tip in. And uh, so... Let's say if we have half a million users, we would be very, very happy. And it, yeah. if it's millions, then we are, it would be uh, overwhelming. <laughs> the more, the better. Well, hopefully, hopefully exactly. if this podcast helps you to pick up a few, uh, <laughs> that would be good. So yeah, I think that's interesting because I, I know we discussed Nicosia when we, we uh, had a chat last week. Um, so I think a lot of people will be familiar with Ecosia. Like you said, you know, lots of you know, users in the millions. 
but you're you're not. It's not. You have to use a cozier or good. Yeah, you're, you're you're kind of you're you're in a similar space, but you're obviously you're supporting different kind of projects and different you know different ways of kind of yeah you know, uh, you know, of the same problem. The same. You're you're just got a different kind of uh, outcome from the from exactly. the back of your searches. Exactly. I mean. As a social business, you're not really competing. You are happy with every other one in the same sector yeah. gaining users. And uh, Ecosi and all the others together have a market share of 0.05%. You know, it's let's get the other 99.5% uh, to, to choose any of the social search engines which are out there. Yeah. And of course, we believe that uh, we can have an even better user experience by by having the using the potential to inspire people by solutions which are really like wow i didn't know that uh, that's possible so we want to share this positive spirit which uh, sharing amazing story every month and because you, once you have a positive spirit yourself you're more open to to take action yourself so it's really yeah. about this there are many problems out in the world but if you focus on what's possible we we get this energy and and uh, we want to 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 engage as many people as possible, think positive, and then act yourself. <laughs> the, the, can I just come touching back on the projects? Um, so the, the projects you're supporting, are these specific to Germany or are they uh, like global initiatives that you're helping to support? No, it's projects across uh, the world. And what actually is quite interesting, more than a third of the projects are from very young people, like students. Yeah. And, um, that's really, ins I didn't expect that when we started uh, good because uh, there are networks like uh, Enactus or Social Impact Award where university universities create teams and they develop business models to tackle specific challenges uh, uh, like social BNB, a platform like Airbnb, but you say with nonprofits uh, or C Solutions, a team which uh, teamed up with research people uh, to to take out a certain algae from the oceans, which otherwise would hit the um, the, the the beach, and then they would rot and emit all the the methane. They turn this waste into an organic uh, fertilizer. So really cool scientific ideas, but they turn it into business model. Yeah, and uh, they're there. It's amazing how many great projects you find among young people. Yeah, and many are actually located in Europe, but the impact is global. So I that's why we as our community mainly is based in in Germany and other European countries, uh, it's great to have projects uh, which are kind of originated uh, close to our home base, but yeah. uh, the impact really it's uh, anywhere in the world. And, and how do you find the projects? Is it do people approach you, or have you, you know, is it your part of your job to kind of go and source the source the projects? How, how does that work? We do. Anyone is happy to 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 approach us. We even have a template on the website. Um, but as we worked in the uh, in the impacts community and impact space uh, with organizations like the Impact Hub Network, there are many social impact labs. There's Ashoka. There are many organizations identifying those uh, amazing social entrepreneurs. Um, we have a quite a good overview, and we have a very clear scheme how to evaluate projects. So for us, there are four criteria which uh, we assess. They're all transparent on the website, so every project is kind of uh, ranked and, and, and commented. Okay. It's first about the, the impact, obviously, the, the social impact, uh, the impact on, on, on people's lives, on, on society and everything. The envir environmental impact, uh, does it help to fight climate change or to, to protect uh, biodiversity or to save resources? And then, very important, is it an an idea worth spreading? Is it something innovative? Is it an approach uh, which uh, you could call as a social innovation? Is it uh, something which, if you're located in a completely different region, you would love to hear about the project and say, wow, this solution could be something also for other places. Yeah. And the fourth criterion is, um, um, can we make a difference? Like, oh, if we can provide visibility, we can provide a certain funding, we're not as big as others. So a project which is more early stage benefits more from us than a project which has been there for tens and tens of years. So that's these are the four criteria. Okay. And any project we screen, we, we kind of uh, check against these four criteria and we want to have a good mix. Like we want to cover all 17 SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. <clears throat> you want to really showcase that 
the good solutions from people like you and myself uh, for almost any problem in the world. And that's that's so exciting. Yeah, amazing. Um, yeah, I, I, I love it. And, and it's uh, one of the things we we mentioned or you, you spoke about before is that this it's um, your users, they, you, you know, you don't notice any difference. So they don't really realize that, that what's going on behind the scenes in terms of the, the user experience, not really any different from using Google or using good. Um, so, it, you know, it, yeah. there's, so it makes it super easy for someone, you know, who's used Google for the best, probably most of my adult life to make that switch and not really notice the difference. Yeah. And uh, you definitely reduce the digital footprint if you don't use Google, which has so many points where we are connected. Yeah. And I mean, it's really, I would never have thought that I would start a search engine. I mean, I'm not the technical guy in our team. And it's so amazing to see that with a team of uh, four or six people, you can actually uh, copy a multi-billion company because we have smart technology partnerships with a, a number of our organizations. Of course, uh, we have a big technology partner, Bing, uh, the same as, as Ecosia and uh, also others. But we also tap into all those open source uh, databases, yeah. uh, Wikipedia snippets. And uh, if you look at our knowledge panels, we have a lot of open source information we we, we uh, feature on the platform. And that's 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 cool that's possible today. Yeah, amazing. I mean, like you said, it's amazing that you know, six people can replicate a business model like Google <laughs> and it's just as good. So it's, uh, and, and better also- Better for the world. <laughs> exactly, better for the world and better for these projects, which are fantastic. Um, so let, I suppose what, one last question for you then, Andreas, before we kind of finish up uh, th this episode, what, what, what does the future look like? So what, what is the, you know, if we were to fast forward, you know, three, five years, what, what does the future look like for, for good? Yeah, I think it's really about uh, getting to, to be known uh, across uh, different countries and, and uh, many, many target groups. I think one important group is also corporates. It's so an amazing employee engagement tool. So we already work with a number of companies uh, and it's all exciting because they can use it to communicate about the SDGs. Every yeah. company commits to the sustainable development goals, but the employees do not always know what it's, what's that concept. And we make it very pragmatic and then it can showcase. So targeting corporates and going in, expanding globally to the UK, to the US uh, and at other European countries apart from the German-speaking areas where we originated from, that's uh, basically our, our goal, and to create as much impact as possible for, for social entrepreneurs around the globe. I mean, that's, yeah. that's why we started. <laughs> and actually, one other thing uh, to pick up on as well that we discussed, you, you've also got partnerships in place. You did mention that earlier, actually, but with companies like the WWF, so World Wildlife Fund, um, how, can you talk about that tell us just a little bit about how that works? Actually, that's, that's nice that you mentioned that because um, we figured out that once you do all that technology development, you can actually kind of wide label your technology. So we're actually managing two other search engines for for very close part of us. One is WWF. So if you go to Panda Search, um, you have a search engine, it's the same technology platform as ours, but all the revenues, they go to support WWF projects. And that's great because with their brand, they it's much easier to, to gain new users. Yeah. So we need to fight harder. <laughs> yeah. but WF, it's such a big brand, so that, that's good. And uh, the other one, it's more for the German market. It's called Such here. It's a German way like, like Such here. Okay. And it's made for the social and uh, um, the welfare sector because there's so many people working in that sector. And to this project, which is supported by some social sector organization, supports projects from the social sector. And um, yes, I think we will not make many, many more white label ones because I think it's, you need to focus on certain brands, but yeah. uh, these were two really good opportunities. And uh, I think particularly working with large brands like WWF uh, yeah. is, is a good choice. No, I think, so. yeah, I agree. I think it's brilliant. And um, yeah, it, using your technology to enable you know, people who are, you know, really that probably been supporting the WWF for yeah. you know, 30, 40 years. It gives them the opportunity to kind of use your technology and, and search yeah. that way as well. Again, because the search engine is the tool which has the, the greatest number of touch points every day. 
it's a good tool for organizations to to engage with the community. Yeah. So by simply using, let's say, Panda Search, you're in touch with the organization you support every day, but it doesn't. You need don't have to think about it. You don't have to log in. You it's simply a tool you use anyway. That's why it's so important. Um, I mean, otherwise you would not. You could create like any type of business and say we donate uh, the revenues, but uh, search engine is a tool to connect people. Yeah. A certain cause for a certain organization, and that's a uh, that's a huge potential. Amazing. Well, uh, Andreas, it's been a pleasure having you on the Impact Series, and um, yeah, no doubt, uh, that, you know, good the search engine for a better world is going to go from strength to strength uh in 2023 and beyond so once again i appreciate you jumping on and um yeah we'll look forward to kind of spreading the word thanks great that i was here and uh, thanks for supporting us have a great oh, day <laughs> no all right andres thanks Hi, michael see you bye-bye yeah.